really awesome. It's a uh, local band, sometimes national bands, unique locations all around town. Rooftops, basements, even a motel room. Um, and we kind of do it because we, we, we love the city and we love the music here. I mean, there's really nothing that we thought would capture it fully and making a living document of, of like, the music in the Minneapolis. I think city music has just become this really, really cool resource for people that are into local music. Um, we've featured so many different kinds of bands, Dan did an amazing job curating, you know, a nice mix of bands and it's just a really nice uh, tool for them too, you know, they can use it to promote themselves, they can use it to book tours, they can send it to people anywhere in the country and they can really get a feel for, you know, how they play and what they sound like and it's just been a really nice uh, asset for people. Yeah, so tonight we're doing a shoot with S. Carey, who's on Dead Oceans, J.J. Guar, and it's a really awesome shoot because um, it's 10 cameras, we have 10 cameras here, which is really crazy because a lot of times people just click the, the video on Facebook and, and click play and watch it, and then we really see what goes on behind it, and it's something that takes a lot of hours of preparation, production, editing, audio, um, getting the shooters there, getting talking to the bands, it's, it's a lot of work that you know Dan Hiding takes on mostly, and he does a great fucking job at it. If they want to, the TV to be involved with City Pages and specifically Gimme Noise because they've also already got the uh, the attention of local music lovers so we immediately get our videos out to that audience and people who might not um, visit the MPLS.TV site can see our videos there and they can be exposed to bands that they've never heard of because we choose all the bands that we want to use and we want to feature. Um, so I think that through Gimme Noise we get a lot more people to hear about bands that we love. People like City of Music, I think they should definitely help support MPLS.TV because we have so many more awesome concepts like City of Music that will help expose other aspects of not only the music scene, but the arts scene, comedy, business, everything in Minneapolis. And I think uh, if you like this, we'll bring you more. <laughs>